six. Representative Prusak. Thank you, Mr. P Speaker, and thank you everyone for your patience of hearing me talk about advanced practice registered nurses again. Colleagues, Senate Bill 136 is an important bill that seeks to remove restrictions on the prescription authority of certified registered nurse anesthetists. By removing a 10-day limit on prescribing, Oregon's CRNAs can better serve their patients and play a larger role in combating the opioid epidemic. As many of you know, I am an advanced practice registered nurse. When this bill came before me, I was surprised that an advanced practice registered nurse, board certified as a family nurse practitioner, I had more prescribing abilities than a CRNA because I know how rigorous their training is and their work is. In fact, CRNAs are the only group of advanced practice registered nurses in Oregon with a limitation on their prescription authority. Certified registered nurse anesthetists are well-established, proven safe, and cost-effective providers. Currently, more than 350 CRNAs are actively serving Oregonians in all care settings, providing both anesthesia care and pain management services. More than 40% of CRNAs practice in rural areas of our state, and 80% of the anesthesia service, services to rural Oregonians are provided by these nurse anesthetists. Currently, only about 85 CRNAs have gone through the extra steps required to obtain prescription authority. CRNAs have always had the ability in their scope of practice to select, order, and administer medications to patients. In 2013, they were given the authority to write a physical prescription for a patient to take to the pharmacy, but that legislation included a 10-day limit on those prescriptions. The limit was somewhat arbitrary, but worked for CRNAs to address their ability to serve patients at that time. But things have changed since 2013. CRNAs' practice has changed, particularly in relation to the role of CRNAs in pain management, including the management of chronic pain. CRNAs are skilled providers of anesthesia and analgesic care, both of which have a goal of causing insensitivity to or relieving of pain. CRNAs can help patients manage pain by providing interventional pain management services, such as epidural steroid injections or injections of medication into a muscle or nerve to relieve pain. Increasingly, given the opioid epidemic and healthcare providers' heightened awareness of the need to reduce the use of opioids, patients are being referred to CRNAs for pain management services that include the use of prescription medications while a patient is being weaned from opioids. During the healthcare committee, we heard from CRNAs who took a job, from a CRNA who took a job at Harney District Hospital to provide anesthesia and pain management services for Har Harney County citizens. As some of you know, many people in Harney County are ranchers, forest service, and land management workers, and veterans who live and work in extremely remote locations. The 7,000 Oregon citizens who live in Harney County deserve access to excellent local health care that minimizes long commutes. But right now, the only APRN in the area, a very qualified practitioner who has received training specific to pain management, is prevented from fully administering pain management services because he is a CRNA and has limitations on his prescription authority. This CRNA has patients referred to him by the VA he couldn't treat because of his limitations. These patients were forced to travel two to three hours to either Bend or Boise to receive care because he couldn't treat them in burns. If SB 136 passes, it will enable patients to access the care they need and the place they need it with a provider who is more than qualified to deliver these services. We are talking about people experiencing pain potentially being subjected to additionally pain by forcing forced travel to a long distance, solely because they don't have a practitioner who can provide services to them where they live due to the arbitrary restrictions currently in effect for CRNAs. Outside of Harney County, our committee received written testimony from Coos Bay, Gold Beach, Florence, and Newburgh in support of SB 136. And this support came not only from CRNAs, but from MDs, DOs, pharmacists, CEOs of facilities, and even a mayor citing a city's challenge with finding providers who can provide medication assistant treatment for opioids. These are communities that need access to practitioners who can provide the services CRNAs are trained and able to provide with the passage of SB 136. For chronic pain patients, the goal of treatment is to transition a patient away from opioids to an opioid-free life. 
But to do so, CRNAs must also be able to prescribe patients other medications to assist with chronic pain management, and that clearly requires prescription authority longer than 10 days. SB 136 does not involve a new skill for CRNAs. Their scope of practice already includes prescription authority. This bill simply removes the restriction on the number of days for which the prescription can be written. SB 136 will allow certified registered nurse anesthetists to, to safely help patients live an opioid-free life and a more pain-free life. And all Oregonians deserve this opportunity. And I urge an I vote. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. Is there further discussion? Representative Noble. Thank you, Mr. Chair. To the bill. To the bill. Mr. Speaker, I'm sorry. Uh, colleagues, again, uh, I find myself in an in unusual situation where most of my family are healthcare practitioners, and I fully support the role of uh, certified registered nurse practitioners or uh, anesthetists. Uh, however, during our hearing on the bill, uh, much of the proponent testimony was focused on how this bill will increase access to medication-assisted treatment. Drugs like Suboxone and Methadone, which help people to wean off opioids, critically important that Oregon's ha Oregonians have access to these treatments. However, it was also pointed out this bill will allow CRNAs to write unlimited prescriptions for all controlled substances, including opioids. Since 1999, 400,000 Americans have died from opioid overdoses. In 2015, we lost 505 Oregonians to overdoses, and the OHA estimates we lose five more Oregonians to opioid overdoses each week. That doesn't even address the overdoses that do not result in death. And according to the CDC, some rural counties in Oregon have some of the highest rates of opioid prescriptions in the nation, raising the risk of addiction. Additionally, in order to prescribe medically assisted treatment, providers have to apply for a federal waiver. Previously, only MDs and DOs were permitted to apply for this waiver. It was then opened up to nurse practitioners and then more recently to CRNAs. Although this last change is so recent, the CRNAs are not yet able to apply for this waiver. In fact, it's not expected to be available until the year 2021. Senate Bill 136 is premature and unwise given the current opioid epidemic. I think the restriction of 10 days is prudent and appropriate, and I urge a no vote. Thank you, Representative. Is there further discussion? Seeing none, Representative Prusak, do you wish to close? She does. I appreciate uh, the comments. Um, I would just like to add that uh, certified registered nurse anesthetists are very capable of um, helping the opioid epidemic. And if they are not qualified um, to do so, unless we pass this, they're unable to. And I would also add that as a nurse practitioner for over a decade, I have hand, held the hands of those suffering from opioid epidemic and know that our profession is going to um, help moving forward with prescribing medication assistant treatment um, and being there for our communities, especially our rural communities. And I really urge an I vote um, and um, thank you.